good morning guys welcome back to my channel welcome to my channel if it's your first time you are most welcome if you're coming back thank you for coming back a merry christmas we wish you a merry christmas we wish you a merry christmas and a happy new year Welcome guys to Vlogmas number 24. Happy Christmas Eve guys. I'm up, been up, but it's now 5.32 a.m. Eight degrees here in New York. And my husband and Rocky is outside walking. You know the dog gotta go angle their business. I'm glad it's not me that's out there. You will mm -hmm. Okay guys, I have some chickpeas on the stove and um, I have some carrots and celery that I'm going to cut up my chickpeas. Two of these going in there and two go, I'm going to cut up two for something else. Yeah. So that's what's going on this morning. I really would rather be in bed. But because I could be at work at 9.30 all the way in Scarsdale, let's turn this down. I have to be at work at 9.30, you know, it's Saturday. Oh my gosh. Guys. <laughs> like I said, I would rather be in bed. But anywho, we're going to do this. Let's do it. Where's the peeler? Where is the peeler to peel the carrots? Okay. Here it is. Guys, do you like my PJs? You remember these? Guys, do I look like I'm losing weight? Comment below. Because I'm not getting on the scale. I'm scared. <laughs> I don't want to see it. So tell me if I look like I'm losing weight, guys. My top looks small. I don't worry much about my bottom. Well, I wanted to. I wanted to put it down here too, but yeah, everywhere. Go away, weight. That's what I want for Christmas is weight loss. And guys, I'm gonna wash this carrot, okay? Let me just peel it off and then, yeah, I should wash it first, right? That's what I usually do, but I'm talking, so I didn't, you yeah, know, got distracted. But I'm gonna wash it. But I usually like to wash it first. Oh, yeah. So, guys. <clears throat> if anyone, you know, well, I can't. I was going to ask if anyone is up. Am I on a live? <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe I need to do a live, right? I should be doing a live. That would be good. But I'm not. So, I guess, oh, I have two, I'm going to clean both bathroom. You know, I'll see what me and my husband get into, but we need to get this done. But it's going to be all on him and not me, because I'm out of here. Guys, you saw all week how busy and tired I was, right? So, now it's his turn. I'm not saying he wasn't busy. My husband was at work every day. The school system is ridiculous. They didn't give my husband the Friday off. You know what I mean? Not just my husband, but all teachers. What's wrong with them? Like, close the darn school. The kids don't come in anyways. It's Friday. Some of them are already on their way to their family member house, out of town. Took flights and already gone. And some of them are on their way driving to family members. God darn it. Christmas fall and Sunday and they just, they don't even get any time off because guess, guess what? They were going to be off today anyways. Today is Saturday. They weren't, go they were going to be off anyway. So, um, you know, I don't know, but that's not nice. They're human beings. Treat teachers better than that. 
And the reason why I said that, they have stuff to go buy. And like I said, the kids are not there. It's kind of like a party anyways. They're not really doing anything, I don't think. I didn't even ask my husband what they did, but I know he came home with a lot of gifts and treat. So I think they were gifting and treating. <laughs> like um, the parties, because he came home with snacks that I don't want him to have. Um, yeah. So I don't think they do any work anyways. And that's how it usually is too. That I know of. So, yeah. Why do they have them in school and go home? They're human beings. And when I say that, I mean like they have things to do. They have families. They need to go home and, you know what I mean? Like my husband, wish she had a day off yesterday. Because that's why we're up so early too. We can even sleep it until at least six. We've been up. He's been up before me. Maybe five. I've been up maybe like five, fifteen. I got up and brushed my teeth. And I came straight downstairs. We didn't make our bed yet, but we're going to take the dirty sheets off and take care of that. We got new lamps yesterday, guys, for our bedroom. We got new lamps. And you guys, did I show you the mirror? We have new mirror on the wall and now new lamps. So the room looks big. And finally matching lamps. Our lamps didn't match. My husband was living a back to their life, but now we're married and the lamps have to match because I'm a girl. He's a boy. He doesn't mind. And some people don't mind. It's not a big deal to me either. The boys are back. But I wanted to change. Hey, bye bye, you poo. Uh, hey, out the kitchen. Out the kitchen. Go. Go to dad. Go wipe your tush. Okay, guys, so I'm just going to cut up carrot and celery, so I'll be back. Smashing garlic. The rat ran out of way. We got no. That's the jingle bell rock. Maybe I need to stop doing this, right? I'm going to chip the um, marble. Let's try it on here. It's best if I use the wooden one, right? Oh, no. I just don't use it, guys. I'm always using the plastic one. And I chopped the plastic one the other day too. I was chopping something on it. My husband used this last night. So it's clean guys. He used it to chop up the, to cut up greens last night. He makes me the most he made the most delicious um when I came home last night, the most delicious kale. I ate so much kale last night. So much veggies, guys. You know I was talking about eating well. So much veggies. And I had these vegan chicken um, patties. Oh my God, they taste good. When I bought them, I was like, I'm not buying this again. I was like... I shouldn't buy these things again because they're, um, you know, a lot of salt and stuff like that. And I'm buying them again. 
I don't know when, and not too often. Let me say that, because it's not good for me. But, guys, they were good. I had two of those. They were 11 grams of protein each. So that's 22 grams of protein. And yesterday, remember, I took that shake with me that you saw me drink in the car. And if you didn't see my video when I was in the car, go watch my video and get the trying to put the hair behind me, you know what I mean? Without touching it, so I don't smell like garlic. Um, yeah, so if you guys saw the other vlog, then you saw my um, my video, you saw, and you saw that I drank the protein shake yesterday in the car. Yeah, so I'm trying. I'm gonna make another one. I already have the water, the bottle was right here earlier, too. Again, I already have the water in the bottle. Because I wanted it room temperature. So last night I went to the refrigerator and got water. And I was like, I'm putting my water out to be room temperature. So this morning because it's 8 degrees outside, guys. 8 degrees. I'm going to turn on the fireplace right now. Yeah. I'm leaving here in, I was going to say 3 hours. No. I have to be at work in 3 hours. 3 and a half hours. So, um, I also wanted to stop at the post office before I go and the U UPS I don't think that no I'm only going to UPS yeah good forgot that I decided not to send my package to the post office anymore it's more expensive guys if you didn't know you know I'm always putting you on guys don't take your stuff to the oh this to this Christmas guy <laughs> I know you guys must be like what what is that <laughs> but anyhow Who knows? Comment below if you know where this song is from. Which movie? Which movie is that? Guys, yes, the post office is not cheap. I know I used to think the post office was cheaper than UPS until I sent something to my daughter the other day. I sent her the, a pajama like this. You guys saw when I buy these two pajamas, right? <laughs> if you didn't, go check out the other video. And Anyhow, guys. The post office is more expensive. I sent my daughter a package, right? And um, it was more expensive. I check out the price before I mail it, right? Just to see. And it was 22 at the post office and um, 13 and change at UPS. All these years, I'm thinking UPS is expensive and the post office is, um, you know, government, so, you know what I mean? That's her official post, postal service. Yeah. But now, I found out I was wrong. So now it's going to be post office, um, UPS for me. Plus it's quicker. I'm always at UPS because Amazon. You know how that go. So, um, yeah. I'm so glad about that too. That just made me excited because I was like... The middle of the onion is a little discolored. And I didn't even want slices. I want to chop it. I don't know why I'm doing slices. Just want big chunks. Because I'm putting in the chickpeas. Yeah. So I just need chunks. You know, like this. It's going to fall apart, guys. Here we go again. Remember, comment below which movie is that from? The background sound. Okay, guys. So, I got some carrot, celery, gar garlic, and um, move the garlic over here because they're going in now. And the other veggies will be um, 
just sit in here until I'm ready. Just have to get it out of the way, guys, because I have two bathrooms to clean before and put rugs down and stuff before I go. Help my husband out. I don't know what he's upstairs doing, but I'm sure it's something good. He, he's a hard worker, guys. Let me tell you that. That's one thing I can say about my husband. I'm sure he's up there doing something that makes sense. I do have to say that. He's a hard worker. I'm going to go up there now and check on him and uh, see what he's doing. And um, garlic going in. I love a lot of garlic. In the um, chickpeas, they're spruming to seed in there and it's cooking away. And then I'm just going to add these. And of course, spices and stuff, herbs and spices. Um, what am I talking about? I'm going upstairs. I have more carrots to cut up for something else. Guys, it never ends. Anyhow, see you in a bit. Guys, I was cutting up these carrots because I usually put um, the one that I cut up really tiny in little pieces. Because usually I put peas and carrots in my um, potato salad and I was going to make potato salad. But I changed my mind. Because it's going to be too much food and... No, I'm going to make it tomorrow, guys. I I don't even have the time because I'm gonna have to peel potatoes. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, but I'm putting the carrots in here. Yeah, usually I just buy peas and carrots frozen and use it, but um, I forgot yesterday. And we have peas. I'm gonna put corn in there too. I don't know if you do that, but I'm gonna do that. I don't put eggs. Everybody just have to eat it that way because I don't eat eggs and I use a vegan mayo. And, um, yeah, but people love it and they don't know and they don't care that there's no eggs in it. They just love my potato salad, even though it's vegan. So that's one thing I can tell you. Nobody cares when you make a vegan potato salad. You know, sometimes you have to make two, one regular this and one, no, potato salad, nobody cares. But anyhow, and they love it, but I don't think so. There's too much going on. I just was thinking like, put the ham in the oven, girl. Didn't you tell your husband you dress it up and you're not going to be here to do it if you don't get it going? So let's get it going. Big fat ham. I'll show you the big fat ham in a little bit. <laughs> and guys, I'm not eating it, as you know. That's why the chickpeas. I'm eating chickpeas and rice. And my husband is making greens. So I love, mm, my mouth just water thinking about the greens. He made me some last night. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, he's going to make a pot of greens. I'm going to tear that up. I love greens, guys. <laughs> Do you ever hear anyone excited like, about greens like that? I don't think it's the first time because I know some kids on YouTube that are vegan. And boy, they can tear up some lettuce and avocado. Yeah, so it's not just me, guys. But veg veggies make my mouth water. So, guys, this is the ham. So, my husband boil it. This pot looks like a witch pot, right? <laughs> yeah. So, he boil it. I wish he boil it a little more. But, when I used to eat meat, I would boil it for two hours. And I wouldn't count it when I put it on. I start counting the two hours when it's bubbling. So, I let it boil on this side. I would flip it. And let it boil on the other side for an whole hour. And then I'll put it in the oven and cook it for another two hours. So things go quickly. Because you know, two hours go by quickly. So I'll boil it. Um, yeah, grease. Yeah. But I don't know. No, it didn't look like it was boiling for two hours. I don't know though. I wasn't here. But I don't remember it looking. I think it looked more cooked than this. Wash it my hand. I'm going to put it in the oven and I'm going to make a, um, the oven is preheating right now, but it's going in right now. No time to worry about that. When it, when it warm up, it warm up. Okay. Okay, let's get it in there. I'm going to make a base, guys. I'm going to make, um, I use brown sugar, pineapple juice, and butter. That's it. It's with, um, just a sprinkle of, um, well, my husband don't like clothes. 
otherwise I'll put a little crush clove in the, um, you know. But you don't need to make um, add salt to it because the butter adds salt and the ham is salty. And why we have to boil it? Because you boil it to pre-cook it, but not only that to get some of the salt out. It's very salty. Okay, so um, let's get it in there. And guys, I forgot to put a piece of foil paper over it. Washing my hands. Does it scratch my ears with my hand? Guys. Uh, look at this giant foil paper. <laughs> we have this for years. Guys, maybe two or three years. Or even more. I don't know. But buy this one from Costco. I put it in there and cover it. Show it to you again. How much is in there? Um, 750 square feet. Yep. So it's up there. Let's cover this. Okay guys, I'll be back. So guys, I'm making some tea. Mint tea. I'm going to sit and take a break. The house is quiet, so I'm assuming after my husband walked Rocky, um, he went back to bed. He has things to do. He should be doing stuff, but I'm going to go wake him up. <laughs> I'm going to go mess with him. Why is he sleeping? He could be doing something upstairs. Taking the spread down from the closet so I can make the bed the comforter set. But anywho, this is the my Christmas mug. Um, guys, I used to have plenty of these. And then when I moved with my husband and we consolidate, I kept two and gave them away. And um, But then I realized he doesn't have Christmas stuff. And then one broke the other day. So we only have one. But that's okay. They'll go on sale after the holidays and I'll get you know two or three more that's okay still I, if i didn't tell you, you would know still got one <laughs> merry christmas yeah or right, happy christmas but anywho let that seep i'm gonna sit and drink that in a little bit but um guys i made a mistake yesterday and i bought the um i usually don't buy the pineapple slices for the ham in um heavy syrup i usually just buy it in pineapple juice for some reason, I don't know. Maybe because it was so hectic in the store and I wanted to go home. Because I wouldn't buy this. So, But it's not that thick. It's not syrupy. It says it's every syrup, but that's the consistency. But I wanted real pineapple juice to um, glaze the ham. But it's going to taste good anyways. And um, so I'm going to save... The um, pineapples for the decoration for the outside. I'm going to put it in one of these containers. For the outside of the ham. Not outside like outside. <laughs> like you don't know that. But anywho. And then I have a half a stick of butter. I have brown sugar. I'm going to go downstairs to the pantry. And get. And um, yeah. So that's where we at. I'm going to make a glaze on the stove top. The ham is in the oven. I set the alarm for an hour, and after I cook for an hour, I start basing it with the, you know, what do you call it? With this thingy, like a brush. What do you call this for the kitchen? Is it a, I don't, I, mean, I honestly don't know. I know a spatula. <laughs> this is a spatula. But what is this called? A brush? A glazing? Uh, I think I know. What kind of brush is this? But you know the brush, the pastry, pastry brush, I think they call it, right? Am I wrong? Let me know. Comment below. What you put on top of, you put in butter on top of pastry or on top of cake and glaze in the meat. So you dip it in there and you paint it on. So it's like a paintbrush, right? But is it called a pastry brush? 
I don't remember. I just know I have one. And that's what I'm going to use to glaze the ham. So, yeah, in the pan up please here. I'm going to go downstairs to the pantry. I'm going to get cherries. That's going to, um, oh, we need toothpick. We should have. Let me look, guys. I'll be back. Okay, guys. So, yeah, we do have it. But I should have an open one. But this is new. But we have it. That's what we wanted. And we also have sandwich picks. Hmm. Why do they call them sandwich sticks? They're sticks. And I think I'm going to use these maybe. What do you think? I think I should use this because the two pick, you know, they're shorter. As you can see without opening this box. As you can see there, um, you know. So, I think I'm going to use the sand sandwich picks. This will be good to poke inside the ham, you know, so, yeah. I'm going to put them to soak because at the end of the process, I'm going to put the, um, the, uh, what do you call it, the, pine the pineapple in there to get a little char. And um, if you don't soak these, they can catch on fire. You know, they're going to get dark. So, put them in some water. Can't say I didn't tell you nothing. So if you put them in water and they're wet, they won't burn. Okay, I don't even know how much I should put in water. How much pineapple I have? I don't know. I'm going to assume 10. And if not, I can just throw it out or put it to dry. Put it back. <laughs> it's just water. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Perfect. Let's put these to soak in some water. Soaking the sticks, the picks, they call it, wooden sandwich picks. I say they should have named it sticks and not picks. The hail is picks. <laughs> but anyhow, this is the tea. I don't know if I show you. This is the tea I'm having. It's um, peppermint. Okay, so that's that for now. Let me put these sticks back where I found them. Go down to the pantry and get the sugar and cherries. And then um, I'll sit and drink my tea and catch up on um, Love and Unsale. Yeah, give myself a little rest. Then after I finish this tea, I'll give the house a sweeping. And then I'm going to clean the bathroom here and upstairs. And that's it. And my husband and I, we're going to make the bed together. And then it's on him. I'm done. I'm going to work. And um, or we are going to the UPSC. I have something to return. And I want to mail something to my daughter. So, oh, I might. The post office should be open today. Not the UPS, the post office. I have something to return to Pasha Nova as well. So, yeah, you're all caught up, I think. Right? That's what's going on. All right, guys. So, see you in a bit. Okay, guys, here's the progress. Got curry goat, curry chickpeas, and bam! Look at the ham. I did that. Oh, I just give you a treat because you didn't come in the kitchen and you came in the kitchen, out the kitchen. Go. I wish I could take them back and then you learn. Then I just treat, give you a treat because you listen. And then you decide not to listen. Just had a protein shake, guys. 30 grams. And now I'm tired. It's um 10.04. Been up since after 5. Wouldn't be a day if I didn't complain. I'm tired. <laughs> I am. Anyhow, I'm going to um go upstairs. And um, cover these pots. Oh, 
a full lot of gifts. I don't want to go. I'm gonna. I want to rest. Oh, and I um, cleaned the bathroom downstairs already. Didn't even show you guys that. My husband is cleaning this one. And let me take this up. Here's the gifts. guys this is the gift another one and remember there's some downstairs and here's another one for Rocky over here see his name on it you know Rocky the dog uh, you know the boss the boss dog <laughs> that don't listen look at the bed the entire bed is covered a bed of gifts yeah so, oh, my husband did some arranging over there. Yeah, but this is the gift, guys. I don't want to put them in any, I don't want to wrap them. I do have the paper, but I don't want to do it. See? Paper. Paper. Why am I showing them to you like that? All I have to do is turn this around and you could see it. Where the... <laughs> No, I can't put it back. Anywho, this is my papers. And I got Baby Shark one for the kids. Balloon. Um, this one, you know. So I got papers, but guys, I don't want to wrap. I'm tired. I did a lot. I think that's a lot that I did downstairs. Now my tush is hurting. My leg is hurting. Everything. All the muscles. Ugh. And then my husband took all the dirty sheets off the bed because we're going to change the sheet. I'm getting right in this bed right now and turn the TV on. See you later. <laughs> this bed look good. And he's got the fire going. You got the fireplace going too? Mm -mm, this room is inviting. I'm about to turn on, close this door. And turn on the telly and lay down for a few minutes. See you guys. When I get up, I'm not going to stay long, maybe 10, 20 minutes, 20 minutes. Okay, guys, I'm leaving out now for work, but um, I decided to close out the vlog and I told you I was clean the bathroom. So I'll just show you nothing fancy. This is the guest one downstairs, not the one upstairs. Just green rug. Towel that's and the sign in the middle that says the humbug. Um, I think I'll show you these before but it's just green down here that's it nothing special sparkly green bahan bug in the middle and towels that's the one that decorated towels and then the one to dry your hands that's it nothing special just closing out the vlog so i figure i'll show you i've been showing you my morning and i'll show you my new coat and my slippers out the way that's the new coat it's freezing outside guys i don't even know what alexa what's the temperature outside right now it's 13 degrees fahrenheit 13 degrees yeah, so this warm co coat will do it and this um coach um headband my son mother gave it to me you see how Alexa um, acts? She does what you don't ask her. Oh, last year my husband gave me this last Christmas. I need to treat it better. Right? It's a Ralph Lauren. Doesn't it go with my coat? Kind of sort of. I'm not quite match, but it will work. I'm getting hot, so I'm going to head out. Let's cover my ears with this thing. Ugh.
what I'm looking at. I hope this keeps me warm. And um, yeah, it's one of those ears warmer thingy from Coach from last Christmas. I just took the tag off. So I'm we finally wearing it, Chanel. Thank you. The weather called for it. I'm going to be in the car. If I get to it, I'll take it off. So guys, go subscribe and please um, like the videos. Thank you for hanging out with me today. One day to go. Happy Vlogmas 24. All right, guys. I have to get out of here. Running late. Bye. Please subscribe.